Hi, and thanks for tuning in to Art a a number 33. This uh, month or so, I'm going to be uh, talking about artist myths, um, a series of artist myths from 1 to 12 were written up by Aletta DeWall on um, Creative Catalyst. Aletta has a website at career training, no, sorry, artistcareertraining.com and got a lot of really great information for people wanting to develop and sustain an art business. And she wrote a series of 12 blog posts about artist myths or misconceptions that artists have coming into the art business. And uh, she dismells the, dismells, she dismells the myths. She dispels the myths. And I've taken it one step further to give you um, some actual action steps that you can do around these myths to further your art career. Okay, so... We're going to start today with number two for uh, the artist myth is society owes artists a living. And this is the idea that artists believe that their contribution to culture and society is worth um, financial support, more financial support. And as much as we all as artists agree that we would like to see more support for the arts, no one is going to... Um, hand you a living as an artist. You have to build a business and you have to support yourself. These are simple facts of life. I know a lot of artists who have lived at home in the beginning emerging stages of their art career, comic career, illustration career, as they built their portfolios. It was a very um, l less stressful avenue to build a clientele list to build um, uh, financial and income avenues without having to worry about if they're going to be able to feed themselves or without having to get necessarily a day job that will take time away from their studio. However, that's not the same as, say, living off your parents and never getting a day job because you have an ideal as an artist that that's beneath you. Uh, being able to take care of yourself is the adult, mature, responsible thing to do. And getting a job that's associated with art, but maybe not completely your art career, can give you other options to network and expand your uh, arena of influence. Okay, so what I'd like to do is just have you think about what are some jobs, day jobs, that are associated with your art, but are still going to give you an income as you're building your art career, as you're building your clientele base, as you're building your networking and your body of work. The more work you do, obviously, the better you become, the larger por your portfolio is, um, the more oomph you have in the art world, so to speak. So think about that, like, um, Art stores, bookstores, music stores, they're all retail and the pay is crap, but the pay is, uh, the hours can be flexible. So it can give you time to uh, work on your art, have a studio practice to show, to meet clients. Um, retail and jobs like that have the flexibility to give you opportunity to continue um, practicing your art career. Um, working in an art store or even a music store, a library or a bookstore is still going to bring you into, um, spheres of artistic creative people and will still give you opportunities to network. Um, you want to be able to network outside of just other artists, networking in, in associative or similar fields to your own is a great idea. Uh, I know several artists who have received music poster commissions through working in a, in a music store. Um, home improvement stores, um, paint stores, wallpaper, blinds, um, those are great for if you're interested in interior design. Obviously, they're associated. It's not your ideal art career, 
but it's a job that's associated, will keep you in the community, can be inspiring. You can be um, uh, exposed to new uh, and alternative ideas and inspiring supplies and materials. Um, what's another one? Libraries. It's a great opportunity, very laid back. Um, you can look at your art groups in your area, galleries and studios, um, to see if they need any help in the studio part time. Uh, look into teaching. Teaching is a fantastic avenue to earn fairly substantial money and continue to build an audience. Your students are actually a fantastic uh, base to build an audience from. They are loyal, they are fans, and they also can be collectors. So classes, workshops, um, you can do children's workshops, consider um, checking out boards of education and their continuing education programs, um, parks and recreation programs, um, to see if workshops or classes are available at your local galleries or art studios or art stores um, or even libraries um, and community centers. Check out all of that. Those are, are lucrative, money-making, associative day jobs that can actually lend themselves to help you in your art career. Um, what else? That's pretty much it. Um, I had a friend who, she was a photographer and she actually um, processed film in Loblaws for like five years. It wasn't a great job, but it was associated and she had to experiment with exposures and whatnot on the machine. Um, any job that you get, you can find some good out of it in terms of networking or new skills or inspiration or even meeting great new people. Um, and use it to your advantage. Like you work your situation as best you can to further your own art career. You're offering benefit and value to the customers you're serving. Think of it that way. Um, what I'd like you to do, I'm, I've added this new kind of aspect to the blog, what's called the reaction lab. And it's basically action steps for you to take, um, uh, based around my blog posts or, you know, this podcast or whatever. I want you to write down the, t the first five day jobs that you can think of associated with art that you could fall back on if you need to, okay? What are your skills? What are your interests? Um, what types of jobs do you think could be associated with your art, could be peripheral and help your art career in some way if you need to get a day job? Okay, think about, make another list that's your top three awesome day jobs that they may not be your, you know, your idealized art or illustration or comic book career, but they are fantastic. Like as a comic book artist, how about working in a comic book store? Oh, yay. Get to read and be around comics and toys all day. It's awesome. Um, that kind of thing. Toronto Cartoon Workshop, maybe that would be a great place to get hired. Um, so write down your top three awesome day jobs and just so that you have them and so that you can keep your feelers out if that is a necessity for you because no one owes you a living as an artist and to refuse to support yourself because of a higher ideal about your artistry just actually makes you a whiny douchebag. Okay, so thanks for coming out. Um, thank you so much for listening. Uh, please come over to the website at lesliedavidson.com, L-E-Z-L-E-Y-D-A-V-I-D-S-O-N. Uh, leave a comment, um, ask me any questions. If you have any questions about art supplies or art techniques that you'd love for me to answer, I'd love to do it on the podcast. Um, and I guess that's it. Thanks a lot. I will see you guys next week.